Hello everyone. We already know our body gets rid of harmful nitrogenous waste through urine. But what substances are we talking about? What is there in urine? Urine is around 96% water, 2.5% organic substances like urea, uric acid, creatine, creatinine, oxalate, vitamin etc. 1.5% inorganic substances mainly ions like sodium, chloride, phosphate, sulfate, calcium, iodine etc. The main waste that our body removes through urine is urea. So what happens when the kidney stops working? If the kidneys fail completely, it is called end stage renal disease. Our body gets filled with water and waste products. This condition is called uremia. So uremia is the condition of having urea in the blood. In this case, hands and feet get swollen. The patient feels fatigued all the time. You know, in such cases, people have to go through dialysis to clean the blood. But dialysis is a temporary solution only. In this process, the blood is taken out from main artery of the patient and mixed with an anticoagulant such as heparin to prevent blood clotting. Then it is pumped into a machine called dialyzer. In this apparatus, the blood flows through the channels or tubes embedded in dialyzing fluid. The membrane separates the blood flowing inside the tube and the dialyzing fluids. The dialyzing fluid has the same composition as the plasma except that it has no nitrogenous waste. As there is no nitrogenous waste in the dialyzing fluid, these substances move out freely from the blood thereby cleaning the blood. This process is known as dialysis. But nothing gets reabsorbed into blood. This process is not as efficient as the filtration in the nephrons of the kidneys. The clean blood is pumped back into the body via a vein. This process of dialysis takes 3 to 6 hours. A patient cannot go through dialysis daily. So, Kidney transplantation is the only solution for kidney failure. A functioning kidney from a donor with the same blood group as the patient can be transplanted into the patient. That's all for now. Bye-bye.